Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanna share with you my all time favorite hair care products. And as of lately, I have been really in love, even though I've always have used them, but I'm just really in love. My hair has been super, super dry, especially my ends. And so the one product that I'm gonna share with you has really, really helped with that. And yeah, so over the years, I've had a lot of thinning of my hair. I used to have, oh my God, my hair would be like, poofy i would have to use products uh you know unpoof it like it would just be so incredibly thick i would have to say my hair like looks thick sometimes but it it's not um i actually i actually used to work with a girl that was like oh my god your hair's so nice it's so thick and i didn't even say anything i didn't i don't even think i said thanks right and two seconds later she comes up starts feeling my hair she goes oh it's not thick <laughs> okay i i didn't advertise um, I don't, I'm speechless, lost of words. I didn't even say anything because you know what? Haters are gonna hate, okay? Anyway, my hair used to be very, very thick. Over the years, I would have to say by the end of high school, so a long time ago, was when my hair really started to start to really thin out all through college and then even after. I would have to say now it has really slimmed down and I think it's also because I'm on a definitely eating a lot better, more protein. I take collagen, um, so I take my, my vitamins and everything like that. So I think it's all, it's definitely has to do with your health, I think for sure. But also talking to uh, my sisters and my mom, like they've all had um, like kind of, I guess, early hair loss in a way. But um, so I feel like I'm definitely not the only one, but I have to say doing my collagen and obviously eating better has really helped with around here. Like I really was like receding, like it was bad and I was very self-conscious about it. I mainly would part my hair. I would part it here and flip it over because I would have a lot of hair loss here. So, I mean, you can still kind of, oh God, there's something in my hair. I just washed my hair. I should be good. <laughs> um, but I, you know, you can see it here. Um, and I would never in a million years part my hair like this, but now like with my, with a better diet and um, healthier diet, taking my collagen, my vitamins, like I have, I've noticed a lot of like re hair growth and my hair has been growing back, which is great. And it's like, you know, it has, my hair's been growing a lot faster and just healthier and everything like that. Um, so definitely I would say even like with my skin and my skincare and everything like that, it really starts from your inside out. Um, you know, instead of using, you know, I still use a lot of skincare products, but that's not going to be your only way of improving your skin. You need to really improve it inside and out. You know, a lot of skincare products have probiotics in them and all these vitamins and stuff, and you can eat those things. You can, you know, <laughs> uh, get it that way also, which is good. Like you really want to start from the inside and out. And I feel like the same thing with your hair. It, you know, it's not just beauty product. It's also what you eat and what you put in your body and you know. Okay. So I discovered the tea tree, the Paul Mitchell tea tree, lemon sage. Gosh, I think like at least two years ago. Um, if not three now, but I've discovered this when I went and got my hair cut the one time. I don't go to like anywhere special or anything. I just go to the random place in the shopping mall <laughs> and I just, you know, get a trim or get a bunch of layers or, or anything like that. And the girl that I had that day, which I've gone to a couple times, but I haven't seen in a really long time. Um, I actually cut my hair in quarantine as well. And you know, whatever. Um, it is what it is. I would love to have like more layers, but unfortunately it's just, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Um, Anyway, so she used this on me and another product that I'm going to show you. And I was like, oh my gosh, like just the scent and like the way my hair just felt and everything. So that day I bought, they had a mini set of these three products that she used on me. And I think it was only like $25. And I really didn't think it was that expensive just because I was able to try three different things. And they were decent sizes of the shampoo and conditioner and a mini of a product she used and I just thought it was a pretty good deal and to be honest when you do go to someone especially if you like them and they did a really good job and you had a great experience obviously if you didn't have a great experience I, I wouldn't go any do anything extra but besides obviously tipping them you know a, I would say a minimum of a 20% tip um buy products because I don't know if they make commission I don't know I'm not a hairdresser or anything so I don't really know but I'm sure they get something for selling so many products because obviously they're trying to sell it. And I feel like when she was trying to talk to me about these products, she didn't follow through with the sale. I used to be in, in cosmetic sales. 
got to close the sale and I kind of just like felt a little bad for her in a way because I was like oh like she kind of you could tell she just didn't have the confidence to sell it and it's like just keep going girl just keep going and that's one thing I've learned is even if you think they're not going to get it just gotta go in you know what I mean because you don't know and it's usually the people that you think of that aren't that are going to so anyway, when I told her I wanted this set, like she brought me over to show me this set and I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And you can just tell she's like, oh, okay. And then I went again and I bought this set again from her. So, and there, and I would always say those small ones, like after I was using them for a while and realized I loved it, when Ulta had their leader sale, I went ahead and these were $19.99. This past holiday when they had their leader sale, these were $27.99 and I didn't get any. <sighs> You know, I, these are almost done and then I have ones in my shower. I need to pour these out because they're hard to like pump out in the shower. But um, I'm really going to miss these. But if these were to go $19.99, I think I would definitely just get one more set to have. Even though I'm not buying any beauty products. But this is definitely something that I just cannot live without. I really love it. It really improves my hair. And so this is the thickening and I really truly feel like it works. And I have noticed a huge difference within my like hair health with also using these. And they're just really, really great. And I mean, you just the smell, lemon sage. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So the other product she used on me is the lemon sage thickening spray. I used up the little mini and now I have like this big guy. I don't use this every time I get out of the shower. I just spray the top of my hair and then I like brush it through. Um, but yes, yeah, it's lightweight style booster. I don't find it to be heavy. I do feel like my hair just gets a tad bit like oily faster but I just try to use very little though like before I think I was going a little overboard um at first when I was using this I was like spraying it and like massaging it in my roots and now I just spray it and just kind of like just brush it and you know or comb it through but I really really like this I definitely have noticed that even if I don't blow dry my hair or anything definitely like when it's dry it is puffy and it does poof up and I do enjoy it. And even though I'm not going anywhere, it just makes me feel better. And I feel like I just, I like that added little bit of volume. Um, so yeah, I really do love that. And I'm really happy that she used those products on me because I never would have probably tried them ever. The next product, I, if you guys have been watching me for many, many years, I've loved this for probably since 2011, 2012. I have loved this. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I've tried the original and I've tried this one. I've tried um, the lightweight one, which is in the white. I've tried, I think, did I try the silk? I know I have the silk. I don't know if I've tried it yet. I, I've tried so many of them. I wish I had one for brunettes. They have one for blondes, but sometimes their website will have 50% off and that's when I'll stock up. Or Ulta will have some amazing sales on It's a 10. But I don't need any. I have t I have enough to last me a really, really long time. But this is something. This is like the only hair care product now besides the Lemon Sage that I have used very long term. I mean, since 2011, 2012, I've used this. This is the longest term hair product that I have repurchased and used pretty much on a daily basis. When I do wash my hair, I just spray a little bit of this in, comb it through, and I... Love it. I cannot live without this. I will always repurchase this. I know a lot of people say it's not good for your hair. Some people don't like it. People hate it. I don't know, but I love it. Last product that has really helped me with my dry ends and my dry hair and just really, I don't know, just moisturize and really kind of tame it as well because my hair can get really frizzy, especially if I blow dry it. This is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I have it in the big guy. I got this on sale at Ulta. I don't even know, to 2018, I think. And this is the Silky Smooth Humidity Resistant. Um, and basically what I do is I actually use three pumps just because my hair is pretty long, but pretty much I'll do like two pumps throughout my hair and then I leave like a pump amount for my, my ends. And I just swish it through my ends and put it all over. I don't really put it on the roots because I'll use this up there and I really don't want to put the put this because I don't want it to become like super oily or anything um so I pretty much just put it like here down and I put a lot on my ends and I they're not oily at all and there's they feel so soft so healthy and so hydrated and again like I don't use a lot of like heat on my hair I mean today I did for the first time and god knows when <laughs> uh so it's like I don't it's not I don't even put heat on my hair once a week maybe once every month maybe when I do something with my hair but 
Um, this is just so incredibly good. I remember after I bought this a few months later, Ulta had it for 50% off. And I was gonna like, oh, should I buy it back up? But I'm like, I mean, I've used this a lot and I, I'm, bare, I'm not even halfway through, okay? And I've had this at least since 2018. So you don't need a lot. Sometimes I'll just use a pump, but since my hair's been really dry, I use three pumps. I probably could, probably should only use one. But again, like I use a lot on the ends to make sure they're nice and hydrated. But yeah, I really love this and it smells really good. So those five products have been my favorite. And again, especially with it being so dry, like you want to use a leave-in conditioner. I probably should deep condition my hair more often um, than I do because I barely ever do. Um, so if you guys have a really good deep conditioner that you love, please let me know below because I don't know. I think I have some. I think I have like a Fido one that I got as like a sample, but it's like a good like sample size. I got free at Ulta like in a sample pack, which I might try maybe soon. But if you have a really good one, I know the macadamia oil one a lot of people love. I forget which other ones that are out there, but if you have a favorite, definitely let me know below. And how often do you guys deep condition your hair? Because... I probably should do it often, especially when it's dry in this time of year. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.